Hello everyone, my name is Jacqueline Burke-Pyle and I am the English editor at EWTN's Church Pop. I'm here with Roma Downey, producer of the new Lightworks movie, Resurrection. The film follows the immediate aftermath of Jesus's crucifixion. It also follows Jesus's apostles as they wait for his resurrection and they fear being hunted and killed by the Romans up until Pentecost and the ascension of Jesus. Hello, Roma, how are you doing? Hello, so nice to be on with you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm so excited that we were able to meet with you today. Oh, I, I, I'm, so, I'm so happy, I'm so happy to share the good news um, about our film too. And I think that your audience will really, really enjoy the film and it's here just in time for Easter. Yes, I agree. And I just watched the movie this morning and I, how did you go about telling this story and bringing these characters to life? Well, you know, I think we, other movies that have been done in this genre, in fact, we, we made one ourselves called Son of God, um, tend to, 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 you know, show more of the passion of Jesus and, uh, and take the story from that point of view. We wanted to tell this story it's really from the point of view of the disciples. Um, and so the film actually opens up at the crucifixion. And then we see the disciples coming back together because they've all scattered um, out of fear. And um, because if they're murdering Jesus, maybe they'll murder them, maybe they'll be next. We see that, P we understand from scripture that Peter denies Jesus three times, you know, and so if he's been spotted in the crowd, you can be sure that that was very scary for him. So he's run off. But now that Jesus is dead at the start of the film, they're all starting to slowly come back together. And understandably, they're feeling uh, a lot of mixed emotions. Um, they're still feeling fear. They're feeling grief that they've lost their Lord. They're feeling confusion, this chaos. Um, what are they supposed to do next? Um, you know, they've left their lives to follow this man who's now dead. The man has promised that he would rise, but will he? So they're experiencing doubt. Um, and it's a, a, a very kind of tense few days for them. Um, and we really get to follow that story. We haven't really seen that in film before. And so that's how we wanted to tackle it. Um, of course, the beauty of this story, and it's, we, it's not a spoiler alert here because we all know the story. It's the greatest story that ever was. Um, we see all of those emotions, the depression, the fear, the shame, the guilt the, of abandoning him. We see all those emotions turn um, to joy and elation and awe and, um, you know, and to be, feel validated that they had trusted him because he did indeed rise. And, um, and it plays out like a great thriller, didn't you think? Because yes. we've got the, the Roman authorities who are brutal, ruling with oppression, with, a, with an iron fist. We've got the temple and the Sanhedrin preparing for Passover and concerned that there'd be trouble, trying to get the whole business finished with quickly and then we've got the disciples with all of their 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 feelings and you you know it's when the three run up against each other that it creates great drama i mean you know as a as a being a writer that you know you need to have great drama in any story you need conflict you need tension you need all of these emotions and this uh, you know section of our of our faith this story from our our bible has all of the best emotions for, for great storytelling. Right, exactly. And that was what was so wonderful about the movie is you really got to delve into the humanity of the apostles because it's different reading the Bible and thinking about the scriptures and then seeing it on screen and seeing it come to life. And so the whole time while I was watching it, I felt like I was, I was in, a whole, in a prayer um, like a, and, and able to really connect with Our Lady and the saints. And that brings me mm -hmm. to my next question. 
the the movie really shows, like you said, the suffering and grief, uh, and it shows the suffering of Our Lady, Our Lady of Sorrows, and yes. his what his disciples endured, especially Jesus, and he was laid in the tomb. So, how did you and the writers go about deciding how to tell the humanity of these biblical saints? Yes, I think it's a great question because, you know, we do, we think of them now as saints and we, we you know, in our, it's easy to project onto them, you know, saintly uh, attitudes when the truth is before they were saints, they were men, uh, men and women. And, um, you know, and we can only imagine what they were feeling. One of my uh, favorite uh, Christmas songs is a song called Mary Did You Know? I don't know if you're familiar with with that song at all, but the lyrics are so poignant. And um, and it asks the question, what the Blessed Mother knew um, about her son. Did she know that one day he would walk on water? Did, did did, Did she know that one day he would die and that she would have to witness him dying, you know? Which, you know, as a mother, I'm a mother, you're a mother. We can't imagine the, uh, the unbearable pain of that. And yet I, I believe that she stayed there when really no one would have blamed her for turning away because who would want to see their child, their own child murdered in such a horrible way? I believe she stayed there for him, mm-hmm. you know, so that when he looked down from the cross, he met the eyes of love looking back at him. And I think she had such courage to do that. And so um, Greta Sachi in our movie, who plays Married, I think does a beautiful job. She brings such dignity and um, strength um, to, to the role, as indeed um, the Blessed Mother must have you know, had uh, to endure. Um, but putting the film together, you know, putting any film together is always a challenge. Uh, it takes many, many people. Um, it takes a village, really, to make a movie. And we're so grateful that we had such great um, team members. You know, the actors, of course, are out front and center and do a marvelous job, all of them. But all of our, you know, from the costume designers to the set designers, you know, we shot in Morocco. And uh, it took over 500 workers working around the clock full time for six weeks to build the set. We built the Temple of Jerusalem. We built all those streets. And then we had so much uh, fun adding to that the actors, the extras, the animals, donkeys and goats and horses and camels and and chickens. And, you know, and finally, it's like then you could point the camera anywhere. And this was just a city, uh, you know, brimming with life as Jerusalem at that time must have been, you know, with everybody was coming there. It was the center of everything. And um, so we we wanted to create a very authentic ancient world and then invite you, the audience, into it to experience these stories. And I do, I really think that when you see a film like Resurrection and then you go back to the Bible or you hear the gospel read, and you you experience it in a different way. I think it because it's it's been brought to life, you know. And um, uh, I certainly am a visual learner, uh, and so and I just love stories. And you know, and of and of all the stories, you know, you could take Christmas out of the New Testament, and you'd still have a New Testament. But if you took Easter out of the New Testament and the resurrection story you don't have much of a story. You know, this is the linchpin Mm -hmm. to our faith. You know, this was the promise that was made to us. And this was the moment that the world saw that, that Jesus was God, you know, this was, he was the risen Lord, you know, and and, uh, has taken away fear for us. And it's been a very fearful year, I think for everybody and an isolating year because of COVID but we're so happy that that it's this year, like it's that it's this year this movie gets to be seen because I think it is the greatest hope story ever told. 
And I think that we are a people, we are a, a nation now hungry for hope. We really need hope more than ever. And um, so, um, you know, we're delighted to have been able to partner with Discovery Plus. I think they're a great platform because they're very family friendly. And so, you know, if you go in there with your family, there's not going to be anything in there that's, you know, offensive or inappropriate for your family. And that was important to us if people were going to come check out the movie. That they that they would enter a you know a, a, a pleasant platform. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you also answered my que my next question. I was going to ask you, well, why now? Why this movie now? And it yeah. seems like the Holy yeah. Spirit is just you know moving and you know trying to answer the questions for us. <laughs> oh well, that's good. And listen, we we you know in the movie, didn't you love the scene um, of Pentecost? Yes, that was when really they, wonderful. When they are, uh, in the upper room, Jesus has promised he'd send the Spirit to help them mm -hmm. and to guide them, and they don't even know what they're supposed to do next or how they're going to do it. They have no idea. <laughs> and you know how often I felt like that, particularly at the beginning of a big project. I think I have no idea how I'm going to do this, and um, you know how I'm going to make a movie about the resurrection. How I'm going to get anything done, and then just like it's just like one thing one foot in front of the other and the, the, the right people just kept showing up you know it's like we need somebody to do this and then you know then that person was there and so we're so grateful to to that team but i particularly love that scene because we cut down to the street we see the people looking up at the upper room and and they can see the room is almost vibrating you know it's glowing because the spirit is alive in that room. And then finally, when the door opens and they spill out onto the steps and they're speaking languages they didn't even know they could speak, they're speaking in tongues, they're just full of spirit. And now they're ready to go and share the gospel, you know, and that's what Jesus had asked them to do. He commissioned them to, to spirit, share the good word. And, and so, you know, and that was the great commission for all of us as well mm -hmm. in our lives, in any way we can, small or big, to share the good news. And so, you know, that was, that's the intention here with this movie, is why we made it, to share the good news. And it is good news, you know, and the movie at the end, um, you know, when we see that it went from just a handful of people, really, and now we're two billion, two billion yes. people who believe across the planet. It's just like you leave just going, yeah, you know, you just want to stand up and, and cheer. Um, you know, and it reminds us, too, that we all belong to each other. You know, that we have to, you know, it's been such a hard year. People feel divided. People have felt isolated. And I think that the movie is a good reminder that we, you know, that we need each other. We belong to each other, that we're family with each other. And, and you know, we need to be nice to each other. You know, we need to be kind exactly. to each other. Like they're all simple, obvious things, right? You as a mom, you're teaching your kids, but we need to teach some adults that as well. You know, yes. let's just be kind to each other. We can disagree with each other without hating each other, without being mean to each other. Mm -hmm. Let's, you know, let's be more Christ-like. And it seems you like know? our culture has lost sight of that too, is the, uh, mm -hmm. you know, being nice to each other even when you disagree. You know, even with the last yes. two or three years, it's... I know, it's around. like gone crazy. So the social media, people are so hateful to each other. You know, we should, why are we talking to each other that way? You know? So I just hope that a film like this, even though it's been created to, for entertainment, it's been created to spread the gospel, it's been created to, you know, there's a little bit of a history lesson in there as well. But also I think it serves just as a great reminder, you know, that we are, as Christians, that we are Christ followers, you know, and to, you know, we love is a verb, you know. We can't go to church on Sunday and then be hateful during the week. It's like hi hypocritical. You know, we have to right. walk the walk, right? Mm -hmm. Talk the talk and walk the walk. So what, um, what did you, or how did your Catholic faith influence your role in this movie? Oh, my gosh. I mean, my faith is just influenced everything I did from my days on Touched by an Angel, when I had the privilege of playing a messenger. And the message was simple, you know, it always was, there is a God, he loves you, he wants to be part of your life. And, um, and I, you know, 25 million people would tune in every week to that. Um, but I, I uh, 
you know, I, I guess if you went back and asked the nuns who taught me in school, um, if I would have been the, you know, do you, which girl in the class do you think will be producing biblical epic films <laughs> in her career? I doubt that the sisters would have picked me. Um, uh, I was educated my, from I was five till I was 18 by the Sisters of Mercy. Although we jokingly used to call them the Sisters of No Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just kidding. They really were very nice. Um, my brother is a priest back home in Ireland. Oh, and wow. um, my faith is very important to me. Um, and it's, you know, my mother died when I was a child. I don't know how I would have gotten through that if it hadn't been for my faith, you know. And so as a believer um, whose faith is important to her, uh, you know, I'm just uh, to be able to combine what I believe with what I do has been a real blessing. And, uh, you know, I make this content with the hope and the prayer that it will be a real blessing for you too. Again, my name Thank is Jacqueline so Burkpile, and I am the editor at EWTN's Church Pop. That was Roma Downey and Resurrection premieres on Discovery Plus starting March 27th. Thank you so much, and God bless you.